Hi, my name is Bukhari. I'm a babysitter of my own. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful image slideshow in Dreamweaver CS6 from scratch using um, jQuery plugin and jQuery library and jQuery plugin, cycle plugin. So this is uh, the Photoshop prototype version of the slider that we are going to make. And this is the real working version of the slider that we have created in Dreamweaver CS6 from scratch. Now we are going to show you how to create it in Dreamweaver CS6 from the beginning to end. So let's get into it. Open the Dream, Dreamweaver CS6 in the file, new, HTML file, give it a title. First of all, we have to save it. So, Control S, Command S, in Mac. Give it a name, slider. So, uh, in the body tag, we're gonna add few uh, div tags. So, first of all, we insert a div tag in the body tag, and this is going to we're going to call it wrapper that will be holding uh, all the content, content content in there it's okay delete the text press enter twice and uh, within this div tag have a div tag we're gonna insert another div tag we're gonna call it container it's okay like so delete the text again and press enter again and within this container we're gonna put another div tag. This time we're gonna call it a class. This time it is going to be a class, and we're gonna call it controller. That's okay. Delete the text again. This time we're gonna copy this line of code. Command C on Mac. Enter. Paste it twice, and in the middle one we're gonna change this class to an ID and therefore we're gonna give it a name called slider so um so far so good command s to save now we're gonna select selecting the wrapper tag we're gonna give it a css rule it's okay it is going to be a block display block box would be the height would be height of the box would be 960 by 720 it's 5.30 and the margin is going to be auto so that our the the wrapper will be staying in the middle of the window okay um, selecting the con container tag give it a CSS rule less specific compound based press ok in the position overflow will be auto press ok now this time we're gonna select the controller tag and in the bottom we come here and put our cursor in there and write previous PREV, press enter or click in here and that is that adds that added uh, an ID for us previous. Now selecting the bottom controller tag, we come in here, put our cursor in there and we write next and next. Press enter one more time and add this. it added the next ID for us. Now that we have our IDs for the controller, uh, we're gonna give it. We're gonna put the arrow in there. So selecting the previous ID, we're gonna give the CSS rule. The less specific compound base. That's okay. In the background, browse for the arrows. It, it is going to be the left arrow. So that's the PNG file. That I created in Photoshop. CS6 repeat it will be background repeat will be no repeat. Position will be center x y and the block is going to be display block. Box would be the height of the arrow is 80 pixel and height would be 720. By giving 720 height, it is going to cover all the container size. 
because the container itself is 720 so it will be floating left and the positioning will be relative we're gonna give it a z index value of 10 that's that is because uh, we want our arrows to be in on top of the images okay we're done in here press ok now selecting the next id give it a css rule less specific and you get the next tag next id in there compound base press ok in the background browse for the right arrow it's okay repeat will be no repeat x y position will be center lock will be display lock positioning will be see, the width of the writer is 80 and the height will be 720 and this time it is going to be floating in the right side so floating right positioning okay, positioning will be relative the value should be all automatically there but it's not uh, anyway we're gonna put it um, width is 80 720 is the height okay we're done in z index will be 10 press ok it is already there everything is in place so far so good now we're gonna work in the um, slider id so selecting the slider tag, give it a CSS rule, list a specific compound base, press OK like so. Um, in the block, it is going to be a block item, display block. The box would be, the width would be 960, the height would be 720, loading would be left, margin would be auto so that it stays. We don't actually you don't need it anyway just leave it there um in the positioning the position will be absolutely yes overflow will be hidden and this hidden option is going to help us by not showing all the stacked images on top of each other so it's okay so okay so so far so good we're getting in there stay with me so work is almost done we're gonna add the uh, images and the functionality in the slider the id before it closes make sure the cursor is there insert the image that we want to add in our slider we are going to add two images in this tutorial give it a alternate text never leave it alone as the expert says it I told you I'm not expert. I'm just a babysitter, you know. So I'm, the fo I'm following this. The what expert says. So in the inserting another image. Okay, image two. We do alternate text, and that's okay. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna see it in action press live and everything is in order as usual as it should be precisely in the right position so, so this time we are going to add the jquery functionality by coming in here after the title bar press enter and we are going to add the jquery file and I got the jquery javascript library file from this site jquery.com from here and we're gonna get the jquery cycle plugin from here download the cycle plugin if you click in here you get a code form so for the moment we're just doing it aside okay I'm gonna add it now by coming here and script the jquery from js folder first of all the jquery file library file press open ok 
Okay. Press enter one more time. Script again. This time we are going to add the cycle plugin jQuery cycle dot all js. Well, it's okay. This is going to be the last time we're gonna press internet here for scripting. Now we're gonna add the script tag in there. We're gonna add the functionality is functionality in there, so we're gonna write it here. Both in tag, yes. So far so good, we are getting in there. Just stay with me. Now we're gonna add the functionality the JavaScript that we want to add in our slider and uh, uh, well, we're getting it from this side and in the intermediate demo part 2 click in here we're gonna have the codes from there because we have the previous and next button in our slider so we will be needing this this code from here command C in Mac to copy now we're gonna add this in here just right here and uh, we're gonna take the time of zero because that is going to stop our sliding of animation we're gonna take this um, two off from there from the next and from the previous because we have remember uh, we have previous and the next controller so it is has to be like that same as it is and in this part we're gonna add the arrow slider ID so we have the slider ID Simply copy, select command C and paste it in here with pound sign, command V in Mac, refresh and it is ready to roll. You just have to see it in action. We press live and here it is. It will be fading this time because we have the FX is, is in FX is the fade action is there. We can you can add more more functionality in there like I'll show you if you go back one more one time in this side you come down browse effect these are the effects you can put in there in your slider using these codes so I'm in my case I'm going to copy this one you can see Uh, in the FX, FX section, I'm gonna add that code I just copied. Scroll horizontal. That's it. It is done. There you go. So you press Command S to save, and now we're gonna see it in action in the browser. Let's open Chrome. It is here. It's fully functional jQuery, beautiful jQuery slider, image slider in Dreamweaver CS6 from scratch. Hope uh, you enjoyed and it helps you for your project or projects or any other purpose. And thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.